It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Abbotsford Brewery and this is their Invalid Stout. It's a 375 milliliter bottle coming in at 5.2% ABV. It has a gold bottle cap and it comes all the way from Australia. I've had some amazing beers sent to me from Australia over the years from Trav and the great Mick. But I think if I could choose, if I could be perfectly honest with the, 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 the audience watching on YouTube, I like these. This beard has probably been brewed by Abbotsford probably for the last 10, 20 years, maybe longer. The chance, the opportunity to, for somebody over here in Wales in the UK to review this beer is, is little to none. But this beer will have an audience. People will have grown fond of this beer and wanted to drink this beer. Whether it's a, re, a, a, a seasonal beer, whether it's brewed all year round, it will have an audience because it just... It doesn't have that kind of limited edition kind of look to it. And I like reviewing beers like this. Again, if I could be perfectly honest with you guys. Because it's a beer that will, will be around all of the time. And it's a chance for me over here in Wales to pick up maybe a small following, a small gathering of people who drink this beer on a regular basis in Australia. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I'll, I'll go into it maybe in a little bit more detail in a moment, in a bit. It's even got a screw cap. I just whacked it off with a, we don't get many screw caps over here in the UK. So I always use my bottle opener. Nothing like kind of trying to <laughs> wrestle off a bottle cap and it turns out it's not a screw cap. And you end up, you've wrecked your hands. <laughs> right, here we go then. This looks great. I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Trav in Australia for this wonderful, wonderful looking beer. Look at that. So Trav and Mick. Mick was sending us beer. Some amazing beer from Australia, but I think they both live on different sides of Australia. Um, it's a bit like South Wales, where people live in like the city of Swansea, and then people live in the city of Cardiff, and there's a big rivalry going on, like a like a west east rivalry. It I, I think it's a bit like that in Australia, where there's a, a different kind of regional rivalry going on. Uh, but as, uh, uh, what I can pick up only from what I can pick up in the comments. So I'll review some beers that I've had from Mick and there'll be a few certain comments. And then you'll review beers from Trav, which is in a different part of Australia. And there'll be a few different, but it's always like kind of slightly aimed at one another. And I find that fascinating. Because, yeah, again, at a, at a small kind of micro level, Cardiff and Swansea, we have our own rivalry. Uh, one finger slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation, jet black beer in the glass. I did mention, didn't I, that it was 5.2% ABV. Let's get the aroma on this beer. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. Sometimes a stout doesn't naturally want to be coconutty. Sometimes a stout is naturally coconutty by the malt build that the brewer decides to use and the amount of oats it combines to give a definitely a chocolatey, coconutty, slightly tobacco smoke. Oh, it smells great. Coffee and dark chocolate. Mm. 
with a hint of sweet caramel. Ooh, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. I picked this bottle up from the package. I looked at it. And I already had an idea how this was going to taste. The slightly larger breweries, the, I call them comfortable breweries. They're comfortable in what they do. They're comfortable in brewing their beers. Let's just pick one UK brewery, for example, Shepherd Neem. Shepherd Neem. Lots of people drink their beer. Uh, they brew a beer called Spitfire, which lots of people drink. And then they do slightly unusual beers, like, like a double stout. Now, over here in the UK, a pint of double stout is, is almost like the best possible stout you are going to get from a regional brewer. It's roasty, it's toasty, it's malty, it's biscuity, it's bready, it's got a bit of pipe tobacco smoke going on. But it's a much, much better beer than the regular kind of Spitfire beer that, that, that they like to push out. I can imagine this being exactly the same with this Abbotsford brewery. They probably produce a lager, they probably produce an ale. I can imagine lots of people drinking their lager, I can imagine lots of people drinking their ale. But it's the beers that they have to think about. What I'm trying to say is the, the, these regional brewers, these slightly larger brewers, they can knock out these ales without much thought. They know what people want to drink. They're very comfortable with that. They knock it out. People drink it. People are happy. Companies happy. Job done. It's when, it's when there's a slightly specialised beer like a stout or a porter, which the brewer has to think about a little bit, where things get interesting. There's enough about this beer to say, yes, this is a good stout. But I can also realise and, and know from the taste of this beer that this is coming from maybe a large regional style macro company in Australia. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever because the beer tastes good. But it's that slightly molasses, kind of slightly burnt brown sugar, slightly thin feel and taste that just gives it away a little bit. It just gives it away. It's a tidy beer. It's, a, it, it, it's it, when I when I unbox the beers from Trav. Lots of Deeds beers there, which are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Love their beers. Just had a cheat code, hazy triple IPA, which looks incredible. Look at that. All this stuff is very interesting. Very, very interesting. But this beer, when I pulled this beer out of the box, this was the one that made me go, I want to review this rather quickly. It's because I have a, I have a respect for the regional brewers. Yes, I might get a bit angry sometimes. I might get a bit shouty and sweary if they produce a terrible beer but that's only because I care because I know these breweries can do better I know that they can produce better beer more interesting beer 
like this. Like this. This is good. Look at it. This is something which, again, the brewers had to think about. It's not just chuck all that malt there, chuck all that. He's a job done. We produce another batch of this ale that people love to drink. Because this is more refined. It's more of a refined drink. It's a little bit more kind of connoisseur-like. I'll take my dad for example. I'm going to go. With, I'm going to go away in a minute. I promise you. Uh, I'm, but I'm enjoying this video. My dad would be the perfect person who would not drink this beer, but would drink their ale. My dad likes to go to Weatherspoons on a Friday. He likes to find the cheapest beer possible, whether it be Tapney's or so and so so and so, and pay one pound, one pound fifty a pint for it. Get you know some of the beers come free with his meal. Um, if you're watching this in Australia, you're probably scratching your head, watching, wondering what Weatherspoons is. Weatherspoons is a chain of pubs, a bit like McDonald's. It's a chain of pubs, very much like McDonald's, where it's a fixed menu. They do a couple of specials. Um, if you order a meal, you can get a drink included, but the drink's not very good. It, it, it's not great. And my dad, dad's the greatest example of this because he would drink, I don't even know if Abbotsford make a regular ale, but if they did, my dad would be the Abbotsford ale drinker of Australia. As long as he had a free pint with his meal. And again, I'm not taking anything away from that. Um, what I'm trying to say is, there's a market for that. There's a market for that type of beer. But the brewer has had to think about this beer. And that's what I like about this beer. This is a speciality stout from a large regional in Australia. Let's rate it. Jet black beer in the glass, good carbonation, rolling the beer around in the glass, looks rather good, aroma's good. Nutty, biscuity, bready. And it tastes lovely. Really, really lovely, nutty, biscuity, bready, coffee, chocolate, caramel, good body to the beer. Yeah, I like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.